a day after it is walloped in the surveys, what changed in the opposition camp? Well, nothing. The United Nationalist Alliance says it will not change its game plan, its strategy, and its messaging in the campaign, even after a social weather station survey shows only three out of its nine candidates made it to the Magic 12. Una campaigns here in Botich, Quezon City, convinced that the turnout of voters is enough to dispute the results of that survey. But while Una says the survey is not accurate, it says the decline of the alliance stems from attacks on its top leaders, Vice President Jeju Marbinay, former President Joseph Estrada, and Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile. Senator Enrile, di ba yung sa Port Irene? Ililig sa kanya yung nangyayari sa Port Irene ngayon. Tapos yung kay Presidente Erak, lumabas na naman yung sa sandigan bayan niya na parang kailangan niya ata magbayad. So parang di ba it's a process of elimination yung dalawa na simula na so isa na lang natitira and that is my father. How can you change your strategy on the basis of something that is not verified? That has no logical basis. That has no rational basis when you try to reconcile it no, to lend it more credibility on the ground. Una is campaigning here in both rich Quezon City. Quezon City has over 1 million voters. It is fielding former Congressman Matt Defensor as candidate for the congressional race in the 3rd District up against Bolet Banal of the Liberal Party. Una is convinced it can win here in QC even if the city is led by the Belmonte family of the Liberals. Una says that Binay won here in 2010 and in other cities in Metro Manila except for Marikina. Even if it says it doesn't believe in surveys, Una will intensify its campaign after the release of the SWS poll. On Thursday, it visits Cavite and it will head to Mindanao this weekend. Ay Makaraig, Rappler.